I did try to leave the city uh, after uh, we ended the stream last night, and I was unable to do so because I didn't even realize that the, technically we're in a me we're part of a memory right now. So we gotta we have to proceed with the next part before we can go back to Montergioni. Uh, we can we need to go back to Tuscany at some point because I need to do the uh, the assassin's tomb. So there is a plethora of things to do. But right now, as we're on stream, um, carrying, carry, we care about the main plot, the main story. Which is what we are continuing right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to watch live every Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is my schedule. I do add in additional days if I see fit. Uh, this past Thursday was one of those days. Uh, yeah, yeah. By Thursday, I mean yesterday, last night. Now, don't be shy. I only aim to hear. But uh, we like to have a, we like to have a good time. We try not to take sh things too seriously. Channel's all about having a good time, having a having having a few laughs, having fun. Try not to uh, become sweat lords. It's one thing I despise. And uh, if you like what you see and want to like to participate or, you know. I may be expensive, join the Discord. Join the chat. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Leonardo! Leonardo! Mi dispiace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. So that means we're off to Venezia. Beautiful city. I wish I could visit IRL. I completely missed that jump just now. Embarrassing. realize how just how large the city is until you have to traverse it to get from point like mission to mission if you see the number uh, next to the radar uh, underneath uh, the, my face cam that represents the number of paces you see it goes down every every step I take
Damn! Alright, I think we're gonna be able to afford all the upgrades now. To the mountains! Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I, uh, have run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. What is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> What is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. De, al diavolo, I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. It's okay, I know. Such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! They're trying to climb on board! Knock them off! Buon viaggio! Oh shit! Well that hardly seems fair! Oh no, I rolled it. Whoops, sorry Leonardo. Ooh! 
Ooh, I hit him with the branch. Oh, you're dead now, son. Wham! Out of here! Come on! How about you? One v one now. I'll send you to your grave. No, you won't. <laughs> Things always get messy when I get in there with those brutes. Always end up taking a shot because I just can't get that counter the way I the way I want to do it. Sometimes, because sometimes I can't tell who the fuck is countering, or or who the who the fuck's attacking me. Oh, I can't even go over there. Well, surely there's a secret, right? No, there isn't. Not even allowed over there. Yeah. I can't believe I killed Anar. I've never done that before. I've never flipped the carriage, ever. Like marshlands. Where's the viewpoint? Straight ahead.
Ah, I see it. Guys, on tight. Top of the church, of course. Oh, there's a chest. He must have built Kagasan way moving like that. Sorry. Mm. Oof, there's a couple of viewpoints on my way to the mission area. It's been a while since I played this game, and I always th like saw for the Romagna as a, like a footnote in this game. But you know, when you get back, when you get down to it, this the map is huge.
restricted area. Assuming there's a box. with you, Leonardo. Ezio, here, over here. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Del cielo, aiutatemi! Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer. Catalina Sforza. Countess of Forli. A countess by marriage, Caterina was notorious far before she ever arrived in Forli. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. 
At court, Catalina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting in 1473. When she was 10 years old, Catalina became engaged to uh, Girolamo Riario, the Pope's nephew. They consummated their marriage when she was 14. Once in Rome, she was heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Forli. I probably butchered that name. When the Pope died, looters sacked Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the Castel di Sant'Angelo and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. In 1484, she moved with her fami family to Forli, paid off by someone with a grievance against her husband. The Orsi brothers killed Gir Girolamo in 1488. As a result, Catalina became the ruler of Forli and Imola. She wasted no time winning the favor of nearby rulers, revising the tax system and training the militia herself. Although she advocated peace, when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies' wives and children in punishment. While Forli was under attack by Cesare Borgia, the Pope's son, she sent the Pope a letter that had been rubbed with plague sores. Ultimately, Forli and Caterina fell to Cesare Borgia in 1499. Caterina was captured and sent to, the, to Rodrigo Borgia in Rome, who kept her imprisoned for a year and is rumored to have raped her alongside his son. When she emerged from the Vatican, her hair had turned white. Exiled to Florence, Caterina died of pneumonia in 1509. Auditore, but please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. <laughs> <laughs> 